Taiwan, also known as the heart of Asia. Home to over 23 million. A country rich with culture and tradition. One tradition, mostly unknown outside of Asia, has created a vibrant and interesting subculture, the betel nut culture. Betel nut is a product that's particular to Asia, and that product makes the culture in Taiwan unique and interesting. Construction workers and truck drivers chew betel nut to help them work harder and for longer. In other countries, people chew bubble gum. Betel nut is Taiwan's chewing gum. There are several ways betel nut is prepared and sold in Taiwan. Calcium hydroxide paste is spread onto the betel leaf and then wrapped around the areca nut. Calcium hydroxide helps deliver the stimulant caused by chewing betel nut and delivers it more efficiently into the blood. Once chewed, it acts as a stimulant with effects described as a warming sensation in the body and a heightened sense of alertness. Long-term chewing also leaves the user with a red mouth and teeth. Bosses handed out the stimulant freely to blue-collar workers in the 1970s to increase productivity as Taiwan's labor-intensive economy gained momentum. As demand increased, rice farmers found betel nut easier to cultivate than rice, and they began converting rice paddies into betel nut plantations. Since the late 1990s, betel nut has been the second largest selling crop in Taiwan, rice being number one. During the 1980s, betel nut chewing became a symbol of Taiwanese identity, and more people took up the habit. Nantou County. Home to beautiful mountain views, it's also home to many areca nut farms. Here the nut is grown, harvested, and then sold to betel nut shop owners. Taiwan's indigenous people have been chewing betel nut for thousands of years. On the southern end of the island, archaeologists have excavated human teeth containing trace elements of betel nut dating back 4,000 years. Today, evidence has mounted identifying betel nut chewing as the single largest cause of oral cancer in Taiwan. The government launched its first national anti-betel nut chewing campaign in 1994. Once per day, areca nuts are harvested and brought back to the factory to be processed. Processing consists of cutting, sorting, and counting. Today, the betel nut industry in Taiwan is worth about 1 billion US annually and grows a volume in excess of over 140,000 tons per year. Betel nut can be purchased all over Taiwan. Flashing lights usually indicate a betel nut shop. Nearby on off ramps for highways are popular locations for shops since a large portion of customers are taxi drivers and truck drivers. It is here also that the areca nut 
may be prepared to be sold without the betel leaf. The nut is cut in half and a sweet red calcium hydroxide paste is added for flavor. This shop, as well as many others, employ young girls to make and sell betel nut as 100% of their customers are men. Referred to locals as Taiwanese chewing gum, chewing it for extended periods of time can have increased effects, described as drinking a lot of coffee, and in some cases, even cocaine. She will sell about 200 boxes in an eight hour shift. Each box has 14 betel nuts and sells for 50 Taiwan dollars or buck 50. Customers can also buy coffee, soda, a few other canned beverages and cigarettes. Everything a man needs for a productive day away from home. In 2006, betel nut production had decreased 30% from where it was during its peak in 1998. The International Agency for Research on Cancer regards the chewing of betel nut to be a known carcinogen. Chewing the combo is also linked to mouth cancer and a host of other cancers, gum diseases and problems such as tumors and lesions. However healthy or not the betel nut industry does exist and it's an interesting and unique part of Taiwanese culture. How long it will stay that way remains to be seen. Mm -hmm.